But nowadays, to get started, there's many other ways to pick an area to look at. Obviously, as an exploration geologist, you want to be thinking about an environment that you're interested in, right? Like maybe you want to look at a volcanic arc, which is where there are many copper deposits, so, which means most of Indonesia and Papua would be targets. And you say, oh, well, where do we start? It's a, it's a jungle. So what people do is they send airplanes up and they, they measure the magnetic signal that's coming off the ground so that you can get a magnetic map just by flying planes back and forth in a grid, collecting it all, and some rocks show up as very magnetic and some show up as not at all. And then you make a model to decide which one you might want to put a drill hole into. There's many other of these sorts, and you should talk to a geophysicist about it because it's more their field. But another thing they can measure is gravity. And gravity maps of Australia are quite exciting. So if you look at a magnetic map or a gravity map of Australia, you will see so many targets. And most of them you drill, there's nothing there. So you have to be smarter than just to say, okay, the red spot is always a deposit. Right, so what we've been doing over the last, let's say, 50 years is drilling anomalous gravity and magnetic signals and then trying to learn which ones are actually good ones to drill and which ones aren't. And we're currently in that business. So you would pick some, maybe not drill it initially, maybe go out and run a soil sample over it, right, see if there's any indication. There's also something that we like to sample called calcrete which is a calcium carbonate that forms on the surface all over Australia. And when people went and did that by sampling calcrete all over South Australia, they found some really huge anomalies that produced gold mines. So a mixture of geophysics, soil sampling, if it's gold, maybe river sampling, and putting together a geological model for where you might expect some sort of deposit is often a good place to start. But you have to remember that the ore deposits are very rare compared to normal rocks, so that you're not going to hit every time and you're going to have lots of failures.